Well, several days ago, shortly after House Majority Whip Steve Scalise and four others were shot down on a baseball field outside D.C., a sociology professor at Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, went on the social media to applaud the violence. His name is Johnny Williams. He's a professor there. He linked to an article on Facebook that argued Congressman Shalise Scalise should have been left to bleed to death on the field. Here's part of what he wrote. Quote, it is past time for the racially oppressed to do what people who believe themselves to be white, quotations around white, will not do. Put an end to the vectors of their destructive mythology of whiteness and their white supremacy system. And then Williams added this, let them effing die. Now he spelled it out. In a later post, Williams referred to white people as, quote, inhuman. Whoa, he still works there. Forced by news reports to respond to all this, the president of the college, Joanne Berger Sweeney, issued a statement saying the school will look into Williams' post, not saying he'll be fired for attacking an entire race or inciting violence or lunacy in general, but that the dean of the faculty will assess the situation and then, well, something will happen at some point. Oh, it's, an it's an unbelievable story, especially for me, since I went to Trinity, along with Jesse Waters and George Will and a lot of other reasonable people, though not all at the same time, the school has changed a lot in recent years, and to find out how much it's changed, I talked to a couple of current students who've taken classes from this professor. Professor Let Them Effing Die, Johnny Williams. They confirmed exactly what you'd suspect from the Facebook post we just read. Williams is an open bigot who singles out and torments kids based on their race. How could he not be? If you let a Klansman teach a college course, how would he treat the black kids? And how could Trinity not know any of this? Williams has been there for 21 years. Well, to find out more, I called the vice president at Trinity called Angela Schaefer. Schaefer explained that she knows of no review of Williams' behavior in class, presumably because the college doesn't want to hear the details of how he behaved in class, though, again, you can imagine. When asked about the let them effing die line, Schaefer immediately defended Williams. Quote, it was a hashtag, not a quote, she said. A hashtag is used to be part of a conversation online. And what conversation would that be about letting them effing die? Schaefer didn't explain. And for the record, Trinity used to be a pretty good school, never great, but there were solid history and English departments and some pretty smart kids who, for whatever reason, didn't get into Dartmouth, and so they went there. But then the left wrecked it, not in any especially inventive way, but with the usual combination of lower standards, frivolous classes, low-grade authoritarianism, not to mention the addition of semi-literate buffoons like Professor Johnny Williams. Trinity forgot what made it impressive in the first place, and within 20 years, it was over. Who'd want to go there now? Would you send your kids? Pretty depressing, but it's not uncommon. Maybe it happened to the school you went to. If so, our condolences to you. Justin Fortier is a student at Trinity, and he joins us now. So, um, Justin, the school didn't exactly apologize for what his professor wrote, let them effing die, and they seem to be defending it. That appears to be an appeal to violence. What do you think of that? Uh, I think that uh, the school didn't do enough to ad address this, uh, and Professor Williams and Joanne Berger Sweeney both should have come out with a little bit more of an apology to uh, kind of make this issue right. His hashtag was definitely inflammatory, unacceptable, and doesn't really d represent a lot of the dialogue that goes on at Trinity. Well, I'm glad and to hear that. What do you think would have happened? Yeah. yeah, I mean, what do you think would have happened if a white professor had written, let them effing die about a black lawmaker who got shot? Do you think that, it, that yeah. the school would say, well, he's got a right to free speech and academic freedom and all that. We're going to think about it. Do you think? Well, I think uh, pr President Berger Sweeney uh, has actually taken her time with a lot of issues. Uh, I don't think she'd be very quick to act on that, but I think she was too slow to act on, on this in just kind of condemning the behavior. We kind of had to wait a full day to hear from that. And I think we also waited too long to hear from Professor Williams to kind of uh, sh correct the issue and get the right details out. I mean, I've heard from a lot of students that uh, Professor Williams pr paints with broad strokes in his class. And uh, it'd be really nice to get some details behind this and to understand what he was saying, because right now the broad strokes are not making a good picture. So painting with broad strokes means attacking entire groups of people. I mean, that, I've talked to kids in this class, and they say he'll attack groups of people based on their skin color, their income, where they live, and it makes a lot of the kids pretty unhappy. Have you heard that? Yeah, I've heard that from my peers, that uh, he makes uh, 
basically uh, assumptions based on what students are wearing and things like that. I think that's part of his class, and uh, I think some students have told me that they, they've come to learn from that experience, but they've also, uh, some students have found it difficult to try to learn in, in an experience where it's somewhat hostile. Why would Trinity have a professor like this? Uh, I think Trinity is focused on trying to maintain a, what a real liberal arts education should be. I mean, uh, one group on campus, the Churchill Institute's trying to make sure that both uh, sides of the dialogue are heard. And I think it's important to have um, academic uh, freedom and for professors to be able to say things. But when uh, a professor comes across yeah. with this inflammatory, <laughs> I don't think that's acceptable and yeah. certainly deserves an apology. Let them, let them effing die? Let them bleed out? Yes. <laughs> okay. Justin, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. Good luck there.